Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to see how we can create document sets and have the Power Automate workflow running on document sets. So we are going to divide this video into two parts where in first part I am going to show you how you can create the document sets and document set content type and have that associated with the library and with the Power Automate you can create, you can automate that stuff, creation of the document set using one flow. And in the second part, I am going to take the approval flow related to document set. So all the document which are under a document set basically gets approved in one shot. So it's, it's a very valid scenario where we want to have like multiple documents and linked up with one content type and we want just one that document sets gets approved then all the nested or the internal document should also get into the approved state. So that's the overall intent of this video. So let's start with the part one where I'm going to show you how you can create the document set First of all, enable the document set, then create a document set using Power Automate in an automated fashion. So let's jump onto the SharePoint side. So I am over here in my dev side and I can go directly to the site settings so that I can tell you uh, how to start with the enabling of document set feature. So you have to go to the all site content and under all site content, there is a site collection feature where you would find the document set feature so because by default is not activated you have to activate that if you wish to work with the document set so over here right now so because i have already enabled it so that's why it's showing in the active state but if it's deactive for you then just click on this active button it will be enabled and post that we have to go back to the site settings and create a content type based on this document set so i am over here in the site content types and we'll be creating a new content type and i'll just name that as vendor contact set and i'll use the category as document set which has started appearing once you enable that feature which we already did and in the parent content type we have to select document set content type and then set that as remain the content type as document set and click on create so it will create that custom content type, copy this content type ID so that we can use this while creating our Power Automate. So I'll just copy that into this uh, notepad and I'll just go back to my one other library where I wish to use or save all my vendor contract and have the document sets created. I'll just scroll down and go to the vendor contract library and over here, the first step I need to add the content type. So I have to go to the library settings, enable the content management of content types. So that is in advanced settings. You have to click on this allow management of content types so that we can see. And going back to the settings once again, we should able to see this ad from existing site content types. And now we are going to filter by document set and we can see vendor contract set, the content type which we just created. We have to add this one and just click on OK. And we can go back to our vendor contract library. If I click on this new, you would able to see like we have uh, this vendor contract set added to this content type list. So we are done with the configuration piece. Now, as I said, like we are going to automate this stuff of creation of these document set based on some list. So let's say we are having one contract vendor contract list. And as soon as the item or the vendor is added to this list, then I wish to create the document set for my in this vendor contract library so that the related contract documents can be uploaded. So that's where we are going to take the help of Power Automate. So I am going back to this make.powerautomate.com and over here I will start with creating one instant cloud flow and with this I am going to choose a trigger as when item is added or created so it's still searching so we can skip and inside we can create this trigger no worries then item is created in SharePoint list and we are going to connect that to our 
left side the list name vendor contract list so as soon as the item is added to this list i wish to create one document set into my library so i'll just go back to library and for for just sample i can just click on this vendor contract set and just to tell you like what actually it takes it takes a uh, one uh, this set name so i'll just say set one and just scroll down and save this so the actual automated created set would appear like this with this icon and set one and we can have multiple documents inside it so that is the process we are going to automate so now in that new step i am just going to say create a folder because document set is nothing but a folder type only but with a special content type so let's start with creating a folder action and then we are going to update the properties of this folder later on so in create folder i just choose my site it as a step side and library is vendor contract library and over here in path we can set the path with the name whatever name the title which we are choosing so i can just look that up from a dynamic uh, lookup and that is i'm just going to say title and in the advance we'll just leave that as is so now the folder would be created with this title name and in the next step i would be updating the property of this folder so i've chose update file properties and again need to set that site and library name once again and in the id id would be the folder which we just created in previous step and over here in title we can say the title as the title of our the item which is, is triggering this flow so i'll just say title and uh, you can pick that from an item is created title and over here in the content type now the content type the content type which we have created uh, in our initial step we have to copy that component, uh, content type we have to paste that into the custom value over here in the content type id you have to click on this add a custom item and then paste it just to verify that this is our a right content type you can go back to your site content you can quickly check whether you are writing or finding that a right content type or not so i'll just quickly go to site content types and check for vendor clicking on it so it's ending with bf86 and we are using the right one okay so once it's done we have to just name that our flow as document set creation flow because it's step one is not having anything related to approval of document set it's just automating the clear creation of document sets as soon as we have the vendor's name added to vendor contract list so i'm just saving it and now we are going to test it so i'll just go back to our site and use that vendor contract list item for the trigger creating item and I'll just say that as M365 vendor set and saving it. And we are going to wait for our flow to trigger. So our flow ran successfully and we are expecting a document set created into our this library. Yes, we got our this document set created with this name. So the first part is done. We are successfully able to create the document set using Power Automate whenever one item is added to vendor contact list. So in the next video, I am going to explain how you can, instead of having multiple individual approvals on each document, you can have approval on this one document set and have all those approvals apply to internal files. So that means like uh, the reviewer or the approver need not to go to individual files. They can just go to the 
come to the this one document set and click on approve then everything inside that folder or the document set would be approved automatically so we are again going to create a power automate for that piece also so just wait for my part two video for this that's it for today thank you if you have any questions do drop your comments and if you like the video please do like and subscribe